Need a job? You may be able to get one at the county election office next month, verifying all those signatures on candidate petitions. We're probably going to have to either bring in um, the boards to help or either hire some temporary to help with it. Election Director Sandy Martin expects up to 20 petition candidates in Horry County at an estimated 800 names per petition times 20 petitions. That's 16,000 names that will have to be checked. First off, we have to check and make sure that they are active registered voters, and then we have to make sure that they're in the district that they signed the petition for, and then we have to verify their signatures. County Council candidate Marvin Hyde is going door to door in his district collecting signatures. It's a lot of work, but it has its benefits. You learn a little bit about the problems and concerns, uh, more so if I just went straight and filed. Out of 400 signatures Hyde has requested so far, only two people have turned him down. Some GOP activists hope to streamline the petition process. They will host a drive up petition drive at Republican headquarters. You pull up, roll your car window down, we're going to come and see where you live, check your license, tell you which candidates you can sign for and ask you to sign for the candidates to put them back on the ballot.